Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you how I made this yogurt dessert using a new machine that we have added to our household. If you're interested, continue watching. So as you can see here, this is what the box actually looks like from the outside. I wanted to show you before we started diving in what it would look like as well as just some information about the product itself. Um, the great news is, is that it is dishwasher safe. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox what came with the yogurt maker. There's the main chute where you're gonna be putting in all the fruits and vegetables into the machine. Um, and then obviously you have the, the main base and control unit that obviously runs all the power to process the frozen fruit and vegetables. So here is the chute. As you can see, it does come in two pieces, which is pretty simple to maneuver. It also is about two inches wide. So think about what you're able to put in there. You're able to put in bananas. However, if you're looking to put, let's say an apple, that would not fit in that chute. Um, this is also the base. It's very sleek and very modern looking. So the design itself is pretty, pretty sharp, I would have to say. And then what we're gonna do is actually take that chute piece that we previously showed you and actually attach it to the base. Um, and then you have a very, very simple power switch here. So just your on and off switch. And that honestly is pretty much it. Um, very, very simple, but I think the test will come when we actually put it to use. So please stay tuned and continue watching because we'll definitely show you a live demo. So now that we applied and installed the, the chute onto the main device, see we're doing kind of a quick demo where you're gonna put all that fruit and vegetables. So here is the live demo. So I've put some frozen bananas in and then also some frozen raspberries along with mango just to kind of test this machine out. I'll tell you, you almost have to let your frozen um, fruits and vegetables kind of defrost just a tad. I think it'll help the process a little bit more. But as you can see here, it, it does really provide kind of that yogurt consistency. When it comes out of the spout, it, it's not really that pretty. Um, so don't let the picture fool you when you do get the box because I personally had to whip it up a little bit just to allow it to blend a little bit more. But other than that, it really does the trick that you can really see that it is outputting that frozen yogurt consistency, which I was um, definitely surprised with. But I will mention that this device is loud. It is not a quiet device. So once we got through all the processing, here's what the finished product looks like. I went ahead and whipped up my yogurt just so it looked a little bit better, added in some coconut flakes to add in some pizzazz. So feel free to decorate and add in all those little fixings. But overall, from a scale of one to 10, I would give this product probably a seven, um, just because it's extremely loud, but Overall, it does the job. It gives you some really healthy options. And that's about it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.